Hey y'all, Jeff with TBL Outdoors. I got my kayak set up for a trip in the morning. Wanted to uh, just give a quick look. Most of y'all have seen the setup. Been a few mods, uh, mostly, or the most recent mod was the stakeout pole holder. I'll zoom in on that when we get around there. So let's turn around and let's take a quick look. So floating bow line, tucked up under the net. Got the Hobie Compass cooler. I got a rubber hose with tape to stop it from getting all chewed up on the pylons. This is what I put my camp, my cell phone in so that I can take pictures of any fish. Little cleat up in the front. Quick, quick remove Omega Pro rod holders. That's what I troll with when I troll. Got the cup hack. Got the PA paddle clips. And I cut the loop off the top of the paddle clip so that the stakeout pole fits right down in there. Tied the original bungee that came with the kayak to hold your paddle. Tied it on the bottom loop. And so now my stakeout pole stays secure. Don't even have to mess with it when I'm using the paddle. Got my kayak cushions. If y'all looked at the seat review, you know about the, the little LED lights. You know about the seat risers. You know about the stainless steel eye bolts. Got the Hobie pack on the back of the seat filled with soft plastics and a couple spools of leader. Some Hobie rod holders. This is the one that I use to set my pole in when I'm rigging the line or taking a fish off. Four rod holders on the Yak Attack black pack. Got some tackle inside of it right now. Got a Burley Pro orb way up there my thin blue line flag remember tbl outdoors another hobie rod holder with uh that holds my net yeah let's see back of the seat you see i got the pump got the hobie correction burley pro raised up steering handle i ah, forgot to show you my my boondocks rudder in the back inside the hatch got a whole bunch of tackle but it's also in the the burly pro bucket bro got my catch board little low rinse five inch unit and that's it see you later youtube